Intermediate Financial Accounting 2, Tax Losses. Topic 1, Recognizing the Tax Benefit of a Loss. First, the basics. At the end of the period for a corporation, accounting income is converted into taxable income, more or less. Some transactions that a company enters into may not be treated the same way in terms of deductibility for tax purposes as they are for accounting purposes. Whenever there is a taxable loss that's created, that is a loss for tax purposes, the corporation is able to use that loss to offset past and future taxable income. This is referred to as either a tax loss carry forward or a tax loss carry back. There are some limitations though. When a corporation has a taxable loss, it can be carried back or forward within limits. In general, a tax loss can be carried back for three years or forward up to 20 years. However, you know, if the company just started, then there's nothing to carry it back to. As well, if there is losses for each of the past three years, there's again, nothing to carry it back to. Loss carrybacks or forwards that are not used within this back three, forward 20 will expire and cannot be used. Which means there is a strategy when it comes to tax losses. Corporations can use strategy to ensure that these losses can be used by making amendments to prior tax returns. Uh, one strategy may be to change the amount of CCA claimed in prior years to reduce a tax loss amount or to maximize the loss. This is because there is no requirement to take CCA in a given year. So anything that isn't taken would just build up within the pools for future years. The Income Tax Act places limitations on these amendments in general though, so we won't get too, too deep into this strategy. Rather, we're looking at how to recognize these tax losses and when to use them in general. The tax loss recognition uh, is quite simple, although please note, simple does not mean easy. Any tax that is recognized in income as tax recovery in the year of the tax loss. This refund receivable is to be delivered by the CRA and that is recognized on the balance sheet as a current asset. Tax loss carry forwards are a bit more complex because the definition of an asset requires that this item needs to have future economic benefit and that benefit needs to be probable. Therefore, carry forwards are only recognized so far in that they are probable to be received. That means that the company must be able to generate future incomes in the amount that can actually utilize that cash loss carry forward. Let's look at a question. JBC Corp has just finished their year end process compiling the financial statements for the 2020 year. The controller reports that there is an accounting loss for the period of $342,000 and a tax loss of $351,000. The company's CEO asks the controller if this loss can be applied to a period of year of high probability, specifically 2015. True or false? The company can apply the tax loss to the 2015 uh, year. Is it A, true, or B, false? If you answered B, false, you'd be correct. And that's because 2015 is more than three years carried back. So it's not 2019, 2018, or 2017. Therefore, it cannot be carried back. You may have been mm, tempted to say that you don't have enough information. You don't know what the, if it was taxable, if there was a taxable... Um, period in that sense, and maybe that was a bit frustrating. However, just keep in mind the overarching back three, forward 20, and if it's forward, it needs to be probable. Those are some of the basics, and we'll get into more details in just a moment. I'll see you in the next video.